Hey what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicholas Kidd and welcome to my top 5 best edit weeks of 2014, this is episode 3. Alright guys, so in this series, I will compile some of the best CD tweaks that are made in 2014 and I'm really sorry if they're not up to date because, you know, some tweaks I just reviewed, um, you know, very early back then and I didn't have the time to review them. But anyway, they are pretty cool tweaks and I thought I want to share it with you guys. So, you know, just sit back and relax and let's get right into it. Number 5 Coming in, in number 5, we have simple passcode buttons. Well, this tweak has recently been updated on Cydia, so right now, we have actually got more features. So what this tweak does, but anyway, I'll just show you guys in the settings right here, we'll just go with hide everything, and uh, you actually need to set up a passcode for your phone. So after that, we'll just head over to our lock screen, and uh, when I slide over to the passcode, and there you go, all the UI, you know, UI settings, for example, the um, letters or the numbers are all gone so I think right now you know your phone is actually pretty secure so um, even your friends or you know anybody else it's most likely not going to see what your passcode is so yep this is simple passcode buttons very cool and uh, we actually got high letters as well so um, the default is actually you know nothing it doesn't change anything you know uh, giving you the default of your passcode so right now it's high letters as you guys can see we only got the numbers on your passcode lock so that is amazing and uh, let me just unlock it right here so yep that is pretty much it there's really not much feature just um, you know they added um, the height letters because normally we only have hide everything all right so I think that's about it for simple passcode buttons let's head over to number four number four Alright guys, coming up next, in number 4 we got HUD Dismiss. This is one of the most useful and helpful tweaks I so far encountered. And why? Because let's say for example you're watching a movie or a video and you actually wanna you know, adjust your volume. So you know, you actually have to wait for the HUD to dismiss. Well, with HUD Dismiss right here, we actually get to tap on it and it'll dismiss and disappear by itself. How amazing that is. Let me just show you guys one more time. And there you go. So this is HUD Dismiss, a very awesome tweak. And by the way, this is free as well. So be sure you go check it out. And let's head over to number three. Number three. All right, guys, coming in in number three, we got Safari Tab Count. So as you guys can see right here, I've actually got a number of, uh, you know, different, different Safari tabs right here. And I have no idea how many tabs I have actually opened on Safari. So right now, as you guys can see right here, we actually have, um, you know, what is said to be a Safari tab count. So there you go. Right now, I've got 18 pages open up. Uh, let me just zoom in so you guys can have a closer look. All right. So as you guys can see, it says 18 right there. So yep, right now I've actually got uh, you know 18 tabs open up. So I think that it's pretty cool. You know, it actually tells you how many tabs you got open up. And uh, so yeah, once again, this is Safari tab count. Be sure you go check it out. And let's head over to number two. Number two! Coming in in number two, this is just a fancy tweak. This is called Blueboard. So this tweak actually, you know, changes your keyboard into a, uh, you know, blue color theme, which is pretty awesome. All right, so before you actually, you know, do anything, what you're gonna do is actually after installing the tweak, come over to your settings and uh, go to Blueboard, enable it and respring. So, you know, of course, we gotta wait for a while and I'll be right back. Alright, so after a quick respring and let's check out the keyboard. Tada! Right there, a very very bright blue keyboard, and it's you know pretty awesome. It works pretty well, you know, just having a uh, theme change right there. But in my opinion, it looks very very cool. I'm actually sick and getting bored of the you know um, original white keyboard. Alright, so I think that's about it for blue keyboard. Let's head over to number one. Number one. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, in number one, we have got No Camera Grabber 7. Alright, so if you're wondering why am I in Winterboard right now, because this is actually a theme. But in my opinion, I would actually, you know, um, consider this more as a tweak because, you know, it does look more like a tweak. Alright, but that's just my opinion. So what we're gonna do is actually, you know, um, take on this and let's do a quick respring and, um, you know, I'll show you the result later. 
Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the camera grabber is not there anymore. So you know, um, right now we can still access our camera, so it's amazing. And for those of you guys who wanna, you know, get rid of your camera grabber, but still want your camera to be, you know, functioning, well this is the theme slash tweak for you. Alright guys, so I think that is about it. This is my top 5 best Cilia tweaks of 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure you leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this series and would like to see more. Um, by the way, leave a comment down in the comment section box below. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Nicholas Kit, and I will catch you in the next one.